All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to check your work using addition or subtraction. All right, so let's first of all suppose that we have a question. Uh, let's say it's 115. Uh, subtract 37. And we don't know what that is yet. Um, so the way you would work it out is if you have a number line. Okay. Draw a number line. All right. And there are a couple ways you can do this. You either start at 37 over here and you count up to 115 and then you count uh, the size of your steps. Or you start at 115 and you count back uh, again how many steps. Okay. So uh, just for uh, variety. Um, I'm going to uh, start with 115. So 115 would be at this end. Okay, so that's 115. And now I'm going to count back 37 and we'll see what I have. Okay, so um, I like sets of uh, 10. So I'm going to go back in uh, sets of 10. So there's uh, one set of 10. Okay. And 115 take away 10, well, the only digit that's going to change is the middle digit here, because that's in the tens column. So that's going to be, my new answer is going to be 105. Okay. Then I count back another set of 10. All right. And again, this digit here is the uh, uh, is going to change, but also this is, one is going to change because that's 10 basically you take away another set of 10 that leaves you with 95 okay and so we've got two sets of 10 there so we have to go back one more set of 10 because we're looking at 37 okay so we have to take away three sets of 10 and then seven units okay so uh, here's another set of 10 so again, this digit here, the 9, is going to change. We're going to take away one set of 10, so it's going to be 85. And now we're going to look at the units here. We're going to take away 7. Okay, well, 7 is basically 5 plus 2, so I can count back 5, which gives me 80. And then I can count back another 2, Okay, which is going to give me 78. So that means that my answer here, my answer here is going to be 78. Now, one of the things that you need to make sure you can do is work, use what's called the inverse to check your work. This number statement here is a subtraction question, and the inverse is if you basically says that if you are using subtraction in your question, then to check your work, you need to use addition. So that would mean that we take 37, which is what we had here, plus what we think our answer is here, 78, and it should give us the answer that we have here, 115. Okay? So this is the inverse. I started with the question, which was subtraction, and I've checked it with what's called the inverse, which is addition. All right. And to do that, you can, again, just use a number line. Oops, sorry. Not a very straight number line, but never mind. And we start at 37, say. Okay. We don't have to start at 37, we could start at 78, uh, but I've decided to start at 37. Okay, so again, I, I like sets of 10, so we're going to add 7 sets of 10 for 70, and then 8 units, and it should give us 115 when we're done. So there's one set of 10, which gives us 47, another set of 10, which gives us 57, another set of 10, which gives us 67, another set of 10, 
which gives us 77. Another set of 10, which gives us 87. And you'll see that this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I have to add 20 more. Another set of 10 gives us 97. Another set of 10 gives us 107. Remember, you look at the tens digits in all these numbers. They're going up by one set of 10. Okay, so we had 90 here. Now we've got 100. Okay. And now we've got the seven sets of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sets of ten, which is what we needed here. And now we count up the eight units. Okay, plus eight. Okay, which is going to give us 115. So that means that what we think is the correct answer is actually the correct answer. And that's how you check your work using the opposite or the inverse. So if you have a question which is a subtraction question, you use addition to check. And if you start with a question which is addition, then you use subtraction to check. All right? Good luck.